Hey guys, Argon Templar here with a character profile of Barristan Selmy, or as I like to call him, Always Lawful Neutral. Because that's what Barristan Selmy is. He's always lawful neutral in pretty much all of his actions. Um, people really like Barristan Selmy, and to be fair, in a universe full of um, guys like Ramsey Bolton, um, Cersei Lannister, and Tywin Lannister, um, he is one of the th closer things we come to a good character. But much like Ned and Rob Stark, there is a strong stream of narcissism in him that isn't readily apparent. Um, his concept of honor is very... Um, questionable. In a sense, he's kind of the opposite of Jamie. Um, Jamie's a man whose personal morals trump honor and Barristan's a man whose honor trumps personal morals. And in a sense, he's kind of the um, foil to Jamie Lannister. Um, Jamie Lannister will occasionally make um, dishonorable decisions like killing King Ares um, by list to listen to his conscience. And um, his relationship with Brienne eventually sort of comes to reflect this, uh, like when he goes back for her, etc. Um, he will make bad decisions, sorry, uh, dishonorable decisions or like ignoring his sister in A Dance with Dragons and leaving her to her fate, which is dishonorable considering he swore an oath to um, protect her as part of the Kingsguard, but is probably the morally correct thing to do. Um, Barristan Selmy is the opposite of it, that. Uh, there is nothing Barristan Selmy will not do if he's not ordered by a legitimate authority. Um, he stood by and watched as the Mad King raped the Queen, as he burned people alive. He didn't object to it. He led the Mad King's armies in battle as a general. Um, he allowed himself to be pardoned and serve the next king, um, showing, in my view, kind of a lack of loyalty to um, the previous king. Um, he didn't really seem to care when Robert's will was read out. He's like, oh, okay. Um, I'm the King's guard. I'm supposed to follow what the King said. I don't really care about the king's will. I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to go screw off to the other continent and, and go serve someone else. And then when he's there, he just keeps making questionable decisions. Um, he keeps trying to get Danny to be idealistic, to do the right thing. But it's really more the honorable thing. It's not really what's best for her people. And we can see um, the impact of Daenerys' idealism probably which is influenced by Barristan Selmy, which is turning everything she touches into a complete disaster because she has no idea what she's doing and Barristan Selmy has no idea what he's doing because ultimately he's a follower, not a leader. Um, the burden of the crown rests heavy. Um, people elect leaders or they have kings to make morally ambiguous decisions that the average person couldn't make. Most people can't accept choosing the lesser of two evils. Most people can't accept things like sometimes it's worth it to kill a hundred people to set an example than to have a civil war where hundreds of thousands die. <laughs> Tywin Lannister kind of alluded to this when he talked about the Red Wedding. And uh, while I don't think that was his motivation, he did point out by slaughtering Robb Stark and a couple thousand of his, like in a thousand of his bannermen, he ended a war and he did stop like hundreds of thousands of people from dying and it allowed him to start preparing for the winter and prevent a lot of starvation um he's a follower not a leader um yeah people yeah so tywin lannister um said uh it's, it's more is it really that immoral to kill these people uh to prevent the civil war from going on which is killing far more people and to the average person they can't make that call and they can't make that decision and monarchs exist so people will have the luxury of not having to make hard decisions like that. Um, that's the reason we have kings, that's the reason we have leaders, because the average person can't and shouldn't make that decision. Um, kings kind of sacrifice their ability to sleep at night and their moral decency to rule. <clears throat> um, and that's why it's kind of viewed as a service, because they're literally offering their humanity up as a sacrifice for the good of their people. And Barristan Selmy is not capable of making those decisions. He can't really think for himself. He just kind of does what people tell him to do or what's expected of him. Which is very much how Rob Stark and Ned Stark work. 
And that is not a good trait in a leader. Um, Tywin Lannister is a bad man. He's not a morally good man, but he is a good leader, and he is a good ruler. Um, he is capable of thinking in a utilitarian fashion. And that's really when it comes down to it, probably one of the most important traits in a leader, to be able to think in a cold, dispassionate, utilitarian fashion. Um, it may not make you the most popular, but it's probably the best for the realm, which is also kind of the way Varys thinks. So, Barristan Selmy is kind of an interesting foil, like I said, with Jamie Lannister. Because um, Jamie Lannister is the most hated knight in the kingdom, and Barristan Selmy is the most celebrated knight in the kingdom. Um, Jamie Lannister has, has a reputation for no honor, and yet he did more net good for the kingdoms than Barristan Selmy ever did. Um, people despise Jamie Lannister, they call him the Kingslayer, they use his name as a curse. But by killing Ares and stopping the burning of King's Landing and st ending the Civil War, he saved tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of lives. Barris and Selmy's never saved anyone's life, really. He just kind of sat around and watched as bad men abuse their people. And I'm not saying he really could have done anything, but my point is he has this reputation for being this perfect knight. And ultimately, he's just kind of, in, in my view, a weak man. A weak man who's a good fighter, who people put too much trust in and too much faith in. I wouldn't count on him to do the right thing. I would count on him to do whatever he thought his legitimate lord was asking him to do. And this is kind of what Jamie Lannister was getting at, and this is kind of one of the core issues in the Game of Thrones universe. Um... What takes precedent? The law, custom, tradition, and honor, or doing the right thing. And you have people who, like Tyrion, who I think are a bit more towards doing the right thing category, but are kind of degenerate train wrecks. And Jaime Lannister is also like that. And then you have people like Ned and Rob, who are more towards tradition, honor, etc., but make very morally questionable decisions. Um, or really bad leadership decisions that hurt a lot more people. So this is partially why Game of Thrones is so interesting. Because we have a question, is consistency, honesty, um, loyalty, and honor more important? Or is, is kind of utilitarianism and compassion more important? And Barristan Selmy is really kind of the one extreme of this. Um, Barristan Selmy is always lawful neutral. And that is my character profile. This is Argon Templar, signing out.